Hello everyone, this is Prussian Prince with more EU4. Uh, let's get rolling and right now what we need to do is recover. We definitely need to recover. Because we just lost some pretty important battles here. Yeah, we gotta siege Lithuania first, that's very important. The problem is they have a lot of forts themselves, as do we. Of course, they're gonna take Radibor, which is indeed a problem. And yeah, we gotta start converting more guys, like Cleave. Okay, so how am I gonna get a white piece out of this is the real question, I suppose. Yeah, because we need to win some battles. Oh, no, 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 we're gonna catch them here, which is... Actually, it's fine because they rolled poorly, but as did we. So if we can force them out of here without massive losses... Well, we just forced them out here, and it looks like they're gonna attack us, which is... Fine, because now they're fighting over... They're not fighting over any river, but we just supported our troops and we... Got a nice little, uh, yeah, there we go. Alright. So these guys here. Not too many troops, but we just got rid of them. So there's that. That gives us a bit more war score, which is always nice in the grand scheme of things. Yes, just consolidating as much as we can. Okay. Now we're going west because east there are no issues. We gotta get rid of the Frenchies. We're actually not sure where they're going, but yeah, we gotta We gotta engage somewhere where they can't support that well. Now Würzburg has been sieged by them, which is very unfortunate because now they'll gain the bonuses from that area. Okay, so what I need to do right now is Hope for the best, somewhat. Okay, they already know that I'm here. How is this even possible? Alright, I'm gonna get them back here. No, I don't wanna do that. This is really annoying though, as I was mentioning. No. We're stuck there, so we gotta go in. Oh, looks like they will not engage us anymore there, which is kind of good, actually. Oh, she died. Well, alright, I guess. Frenchies are... I don't know where they went. Oh, they went to Pamberg, which is... Actually, not the worst thing that could happen, so what I'm gonna do is... Okay. Just consolidate as much as possible, engage there. And we just attack wiped them, massive chunk of them, which is great. So now all we need to do is we need to send these guys to support. And then, yeah, we're gonna go just like this. Okay, we actually can't win this because we don't have enough troops. Which is now fine because we just won that battle. So all of a sudden, everything changes. Of course, for uh, the Lithuanians, we're just gonna steal a lot of their lands. As one that <laughs> does so this territory here very important nice to take and obviously we're taking as many ducats as we can from them and I'm gonna move across here to Bamberg and we need to go east we definitely need to go east all right we just took my mines here's France sieging more as always I hate it when the French siege However, can we actually make a peace deal? Because I feel like, yeah, we apparently we cannot because we don't own any forts in the area. But even a white peace would be impossible because they think that they're like that much stronger than us. Well, you know, we're going to definitely change that. 
We are definitely gonna change that. All right, Frenchies. I'm gonna make sure that this is solved. Okay, so who can we actually peace out? Nobody whatsoever. This is an entirely part of a coalition. But if we take stuff from Flanders, are they a co-belligerent? No, unconditionally surrender. That would have been awful. <laughs> okay, so we actually just got to support there with some of our troops. Promising trader, whatever. It's just a promising trader, isn't it? Okay, 1678 is when that'll finish. Hmm. Okay. Well, we have converted some of the heretics, as one just basically does. Can we catch them, though? Seems like not really very unfortunate. Oh, we just got them. They just rolled a zero, which just destroyed their chances of victory, and we just also rolled... Wow, there goes one nice little French stack. They just got absolutely demolished in that battle. Which is what I was, of course, hoping for, but that still didn't seem to change it enough in our favor. So that's a bit sad, but that's all right now. Because all we're going to do now is just we're going to head east. Also gain the territory now. We, all we need to go is go to Ahan, and yeah, we don't have enough guys here, but that's always just fine. But yeah, we need to retake our uh, stuff here. And yeah, well, I guess the Frenchies will eventually remake their stuff. And we still can't core these territories. Come on already. Losing money quite a lot. Quite a lot of money, actually, that we're losing. Okay, so I guess they'll siege Würzburg next, which is just fine. I don't really care, but we do need this technology. Okay, so that technology is probably going to change the whole thing. Gallop Cavalry, Latin, Hussars. Well, we need shock values. Shock 4, 4, 5, and 3. Well, Latin Hussars, Latin, Latin Dragoons, this mortar is the same, Gustavia. Now, Lion Infantry looks to be the best. Yes. We need to unseach that because that's a fort. And yes, because now we have line infantry, we are more advanced than everyone. Oh, there's a rebel uprising. The Danes are, they want to, yeah. Well, that's, that's okay, I guess. They can rise up as much as they want. They're not gonna get anything for their trouble. At least I won't, I'm not gonna give them anything. Right, so if I go down here and prepare for something, can we actually take this? Well, that would cost us a lot, so I'd rather not attempt that. Nice. That's going to help us a lot now. Looks like they will get support here, but that's not too bad. It's actually just fun. No, 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 no. Okay, so here's how we're going to do it. I'm gonna get the support here in time, and then I'm gonna move in. So here we go. We got our troops in here. We should win this. We should win this. There we go. We just demolished them. Come on, I know you want to engage here. You just got stack wiped. 37,000 men just got stack wiped. Wow. You should know, however, that I really want that territory. How strong is it? It's 22 dev against, let's say... It's actually more dev than that, so... It is worth it then, yes. I want it, it's also nice, uh, part of the nice English trade note, I suppose. But yeah, Great Britain has most of the trade here, so that is a problem. But yeah, it's still a nice province to have, though, I must say. 
The great thing is, if we eventually get the English Channel trade node, there's, it's such an amazing node. It has even more trade value than uh, our node, which is kind of difficult to achieve, but it looks like it's happened, so yeah. Of course, manpower issues exist. But now, Lithuania. I know that you want to peace out, so... I'm gonna give you the opportunity to do that. Soon enough. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start sieging your territory. Because yay, that is what one does. Now, I do want the Diplotech, because it's important. There's a whole lot of stuff that's important. Alright, so we just defeated that stack right there, as one does. And how much further are they retreating? They have a stack here, but that doesn't really seem to be doing anything. Okay, we'll go to Vilna. No, don't take these guys away. I love how slowly they're sieging. They're never gonna siege that in time. So silly. So, so, so silly. Really? Separatists? Too bad for them. Oh, you're in Trakai. Nice. That's a really bad roll, so we're not gonna stack wipe them, no. But that still destroyed them, basically. Okay, go to Vilna. Yeah, that was super effective for us. Now, I cannot piece anyone out separately, which is always a shame, as you know. Come on, don't give us more separatism. Oh, really? Or now we're gonna also have to wait a bit. Uh, okay. Cossack aggression, what? No! Damn it, we lost the base tax. Well, we're just always gonna gain more stuff. So it's very annoying, but hey. It isn't the end of the world, so to speak. Obviously, it could be far, far better. Luckily, we didn't lose any artillery, which means we can always siege as well as... Uh, I mean, we are never siege terribly. And of course, we are quite ahead when it comes to Miltech, which helps a lot. Now we're gonna get Vilna sieged, and once you get Vilna sieged, that's gonna give us uh, extra war score, which is always very important. Now we do have enough men to reinforce, but... Soon enough, we may not have that. Of course, the sieges are progressing, but they're progressing slowly. It's amazing how slowly they're sieging. And we just siege this. Which gives me the chance to get more sieges done. Volhynia is the next siege. Oh, what? 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 We are now the HRE Emperor? Awesome! <laughs> we had more tax income, more manpower more force limit, but it's not too much as you see here, because there's not many people in the Empire. So, yeah. Uh, let's take a look at the Empire. Where is it? Really, I don't have a map mode for it? Imperial. Yeah, there's The Empire is not too big right now. We form most of it. I mean, we have most of it, so... Yeah, it's a bit sad, but... Look at us, it's 83%, so I guess we can actually take more. Okay. That's alright then, Lithuania is not gonna like it. But I didn't ever expect them to like it. But yeah, I also wanted this territory from Flanders, because it's great. But Expanding East is also something that we could very well do. And now, of course, what I want to do is, I'm always gonna want to build a spy network here, so I can get more claims. Mm, of course, I always want to get... What? Oh, this is very nice. Yes, give us all the power. Hmm. Of course, we have, like, none of this. It's a bit sad, but... Hey, I like our monthly war exhaustion, autonomy change, and... Unrest values. That's pretty good. But honestly, we need to siege more and more and more and more 
was never enough being sieged. Yeah, Lithuania, I'm sorry about you, but... You're not gonna make it. Okay, we just got more sieges. So if we start taking this land here... Yeah, this is 97%. Okay, I'm gonna have to... Fully go back here and finish off some of them. And then I'm gonna go back here. And these sieges are still progressing, but just oh so slowly, as you can see. Yeah, I'm gonna go in right there. It says we get the penalty, but we don't really. Okay, now I'm gonna send in my guys here, because we definitely want to win this battle. Boost in morale, and again, but I don't think they're gonna have enough to win this battle now, will they? Actually, they might. Just barely. Perhaps if they get a no, what? Really? You gotta be serious. I mean, you gotta be kidding me. Okay. Come on. I know you're gonna give me something, so just give me this. Looks like I'm gonna have to make do with uh, not as much stuff as I originally wanted, but that's fine. We just... We did take a lot from them. We were gonna lose that war, so... Or actually, just not get a lot then, so I guess we just took whatever we could from them. Our overextension is over 100%. Oh my... Oh my goodness. Finish this fast. 1680? We gotta survive a bit before our overextension destroys us. Come on, October, October. It can't come fast enough. Come on, October. We can't die right now. Come on. Hire the engineer. Yes. Okay. Whew. So what we do now is basically this. And there's rebels. Where are they? In uh, Breda. Oh, right. Right, right, right. So here we have the annoying guys. Of course, when it comes to local autonomy, well, we kind of don't want them to raise against, rise against us, but it also could be a problem. And we don't have enough power projection. Brilliant. So anyway, I'm going to get guys in here very fast. All right, so this is not the biggest problem. All right, we got both of them here, so goodbye, rebels. Of course, we need a lot to reinforce, so... That's a problem. And we have a mission. Reduce overextension. Get extra diplomatic reputation. Well, that's really good. And that's not as difficult as one would expect. But yeah, we just became massive. We took so much stuff. If I look at this, our development has increased significantly. We're almost at Ottoman levels of development, which is insane. And of course, if we look at truces, well, it will expire in... Like six years, yeah. So we gotta survive for like six years with some people. I wonder who hasn't... Who we haven't actually been at war with. Um, the Netherlands. Oh, really? We have not been at war with them yet? And they're not in a... That's amazing. Okay, well, we have to fix this like right now. <laughs> you know, and fix the cathedral. Get more stuff. We of course want to build workshops for more money because money is always good and we do want to beef up our star forts in key areas like here and probably in Königsberg as well and here as well and here because why not and here as well it's money well spent honestly and we gotta replace the barracks in some areas because we need more manpower. We really do. Like there, that's a huge bonus. This is not as much of a bonus there, but hey, looks like these areas it gives a pretty big bonus. So I'm happy to boost those. Okay, so there we go. Now we're just like maintaining our army as much as we can. Just getting the reinforcements going. 
Now all I need to do is get back to like Berlin and stuff. Yeah. And this army in Stettin. Yeah. We don't need as much to reinforce. And if we look at the provincial unrest, looks like there's going to be some of them really, really soon. Speaking of which, by the way, I'm going to start dropping the local autonomy in some areas just to make them rise up much quicker. It's going to boost our economy, and, but it's going to make them hate us, which is just fine. We don't care about that for the moment. I'm going to increase my army maintenance because uh, soon we're going to fight some rebels. There they are in uh, Frankfurt. Okay. How many are they? Let's take a look. Hmm. Twenty-seven thousand. Well, twenty-seven thousand. That's pretty significant. I'm gonna send this guy. Five three is the guy that we want. Yeah, of course. We still have an income. We need to look at the ledger, though. So if we look at the amount of total troops, Ottomans have three hundred thousand nearly. Wow. We have uh, quite a lot as well, but they have zero manpower as well. Wow. A lot of mercs, though. We're not using mercs, but we probably should. But we haven't found a need for mercs yet. I mean, if we used mercs, this could have been even more efficient. We would have won even harder, but yeah. Look at all of those cores. Just so much juicy stuff. There you go. Rebels in Frankfurt appeared. Not like we care whatsoever. I'm gonna continue converting people. Corruption is pretty insane. What? How is it actually growing? Holy wow, yeah, because overextension and unbalanced research and other problems. Which we didn't properly deal with. Okay, we just convert a lot of stuff and our corruption is still growing because again overextension we gotta fix it Livonian order left the coalition well I wonder why Livonian order I wonder why now we gotta annex Saxony get rid of all our uh, minor dudes annex all the vassals let's do it now lower Rhineland needs to be made into a uh, what? There we go. Lower Rhineland area, which is nice. Make this into a... Yeah. So now all we gotta do is we gotta beef these up. Who demands control? Well, it looks like it's the clergy again. Well, hello clergy. It's of the utmost importance. Now lose one prestige. It's just fine. Looks like, yeah, if we give them stuff here, that's just fine. Yeah. The clergy hates not having enough land, which is just fine then. Mantua has left the military coalition against us. Well, I would hope so. Yeah, and Brest, there's going to be an issue. At least I expect there to be an issue. But yeah, that's enough for now. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on social media. I'll see you next time.